Okay, we're joined with Lee Wogan. Lee, welcome to Chelmsford City Football Club. What are your initial thoughts upon joining the club? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, it's a great environment to, to come up and uh, initially do some training in. Um, it's a massive club. Uh, I personally think it's a, it's a bit of a sleeping giant and it's, it's got bags of potential. Uh, staff have been, been brilliant so far and the uh, squad have looked excellent uh, for, a, for a first week back. We look really fit and you know, raring to go. And how did the conversation start, start with uh, Robbie Simpson about joining the club? Uh, I got a phone call from Robbie. Um, I think he was made aware that you know I was leaving Dover, um, and we started off just sort of tentative conversations, just regarding um, about me being interested in coming to Chelmsford. Um, as soon as I've got to be honest, as soon as I heard that the club were interested, uh, I wanted to jump at the chance. Um, I've always enjoyed playing here, and what Robbie's sort of ethos was, and you know where the direction he wants to take the club. I just I was really excited and wanted to be part of it. And Dover were quite almost full time weren't they yeah. um this is four days a week training yeah. um have you have you decided like you want to take a, a change in your career going down to part-time yes yeah, so yeah so that's that was part of my plan um i was sort of come sort of to the end of last season obviously quite abruptly and um you know after discussions with, with my family uh, it was uh, i wanted to change a, a career change and um sort of I've, I've always been looking into going into teaching and you know once that option become available um, and then you know this uh, this become available as well. It was um, it was two things that I could merge together, and uh, it, it it seems like the the way I want to go with things. And obviously at Dover, yeah, we, we know you were doing coaching mm -hmm. as well over there. Are you looking forward to seeing how Danny Clare does his coaching with you and the other fellow keepers that Yeah, again? like you just said, yeah, I was um, I was sort of the, the player coach at Dover, sort of doubling up as the, as the number one and the goalkeeping coach, <laughs> which was tough in tough in itself. Um, but I've known Danny for quite a long time. And um, really, well, I've, you know, I've been working with him this week and uh, really looking forward to working with him throughout the season, learning some new methods. And it'd be quite refreshing to me, for, well, for me to, to be able to just train rather than having to worry about coaching through the sessions as well. Um, it will leave me just to be able to concentrate on what I'm doing um, and, you know, keep my mind on ju just playing. And you've played, you know, a large chunk of your career over in Kent, mm -hmm. of Maidstone, Dover. Um, uh, are you excited for the challenge of playing somewhere else, maybe in Essex and elsewhere? elsewhere? Yeah, I think that was part of it as well. You know, I think part of it was was wanting to come and you know have a fresh challenge, have something new. Like you said, I've pretty much played the majority of my football in in Kent, um, so I think maybe uh, you know having that you know that that like well, like I said, a fresh challenge to, to come somewhere else, come to a new club. Uh, come over the bridge, <laughs> which uh, I might moan about a few times, but um, but no, I'm really looking forward to it. It's, um, it's, it's it seems like a great club, um, and it's it's only going in one direction. And what can our fans expect from you? Obviously, we've mentioned off camera that obviously we've had a few different goalkeepers coming mm -hmm. coming and going in the last couple of years. Um, but what can fans expect from your experience? Well, like you said, experience. Um, you know, I think I can bring a wealth of that to the changing room, help the younger players. I think. Listen, successful clubs have continuity, and I think when you've got a solid sort of base throughout the team, a solid spine, which in, in, you know is includes the goalkeeper, I think once you've got a settled person in that position, you know it, it, it does make clubs more successful. Um, so you know, I do, I, I'll, I'll bring that. I, I you know, I, I've played a lot of football. Um, I'm looking forward to playing my football here. Uh, I'm a, I'm a sweeper keeper of sorts, so I like to, to hold quite a high line. Um, you know, make lots of saves, uh, but more importantly, I like to win. Um, you know, I've done a lot of winning throughout my career, so hopefully, I can I can bring that to this this football club as well. And during your time with Maidstone, you were made club captain, mm -hmm. you? So, do you think that sort of experience behind you as well breeds confidence in front of the defenders as well? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think goalkeepers have always always got that tag where you know they're they're the person who's who's got to, who's got to give lots of communication. Um, got help to help the players in front of them. I was I was having handed the captaincy at the time, um, enjoyed it, um, but it's uh, yeah, it, it does give you that, that that sort of wealth of knowledge and, and I've been I've had that armband on. I know what it's like. So um, having that experience behind me is can, I, can only help this football club. And finally, what are your personal aims for, for this season? Promotion. I want to I want to get promoted. I, I, I didn't I didn't come here just to tick off a football club, you know, another club to play for. I didn't come here to, you know, just to settle and see out the last few years of my career, because if I wanted to do that, I would have would have stayed in Kent, you know, where it was a lot easier. Um, I want a challenge. 
Um, I think this club, like I've said before, is is a sleeping giant. I think it's something that, you know, it's somewhere that, that needs success and deserves success. Um, and like I said, with, with the new manager in place, with the squad he's putting together, um, you know, that's what we intend to bring.